Do you think he knows where he's going? Yep. He knows which door it is. You coming? He wants to be a saw dog this morning. Good morning, good morning. I've got uh, Benny with me today and Charlie the saw dog. He's back there. He's wanting to go to the farm as well. So we need to finish up those last um, four joists, the floor joists. We need to finish up those last four floor, floor. We need to finish up those last four floor joists uh, so we can be ready when the I-beams come and um, I might mill a little bit of hemlock today for siding, not sure, but uh, it's Saturday and I want to stay ahead of this. So um, yeah, good times. Stick with us. <laughs> Nice looking lumber stacked up. It's a beautiful thing right there. That's good. I got it. Get another clippy. Basically, this is going to help you from tipping. I don't particularly like doing this. I have to help the tractor lift up the log. So, it's not my favorite. Hey, Dad! All right. Never mind. I'm an inch too far this way. Come this way, Lil. I gotta go get a can hook. Come on, man. I'm gonna have you lift that front again. I gotta go higher. I gotta go up a little more. Thank you. 
So that's the first cut, opening face cut here. And this is a chunk of white oak. So this is gonna be heavy. Jeez, oh man. I think you're good right where you're at. I'm just gonna flip it. I almost don't even need a cant hook. Let me see if I need one. Straight up. Need a hand? Ready? Good. We're good. Just back out. Man, this is ugly. Now we got this ugly looking white oak in a place we can do something. That's a heavy piece of oak, that's what that is. Right here. Yep. Okay. I gotta run and get some four inch screws. And should be able to have all the joists in place. Finish up these joists so I can go home. It's a beautiful thing. Hate that sound. Reminds me of Good Morning Vietnam. 
every time Forrest Whitaker started the Jeep, it was already running. So we're gonna take two I-beams. I think I keep telling you just to remind myself. We're gonna put an I-beam on this runner and bolt the I-beam to that piece of white oak. We're gonna put an I-beam on this one, and bolt it. That should make sure that everything's flat. And then I put the I-beams in the center here because I figured if my sap tanks sit, straddle the I-beams, it'll be strong enough. If not, I guess we're gonna find out. But these are true two by eights and with some white oak in there. And there are some two by sixes that have been, you know, capped with two inch full two by fours, true two by fours. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get this done before we start our work week. So this is um, Saturday and hopefully Austin, I can get all this white oak cleaned up put over with the lumber and then uh, we can start, you know, bolt that I-beam on there. That should be almost a day drilling all those holes and squeezing it down. And then uh, after that, we'll put a floor on it and then put some walls up, roof, sides, put the sap tanks in. That's the plan. That's kind of the schedule we have for this uh, sap tank shed, but, uh, Hey, thanks for sticking with me and thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode. Very pretty.